Money makes you more of what you already are. It magnifies the good and exposes the bad brightly. Do you know that the top 0.001% of the world's richest people control over 11% of global wealth? That's a staggering amount of influence, right? These aren't just your run-of-the-mill millionaires, they're the ultra-elite. But have you ever wondered what makes them tick? Is it just about having money, or is there something else that sets them apart? In this video, we're going to dive deep into the 15 laws governing the elite. These are the rules that aren't written in any book, but the elite live by them every single day. We're talking about the kinds of principles that shape their decisions, guide their careers, and ultimately lead them to extraordinary success. Stick around to find out what these 15 laws are, and you might discover some insights that you can apply to your own life. And hey, if you're curious about what the ultra elite do differently, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more videos like this. Let's get started. You know that feeling when you're a kid and everything is fascinating. You wanna know how things work, why the sky is blue, or what makes a car go vroom. Well, the elite never outgrew that. In fact, they've made curiosity a core part of their success. Curiosity drives them to explore, learn, and ask questions, lots of questions. It's not just about knowing the basics. It's about diving deep into new ideas, industries, and cultures. They don't just stick to what they know. They actively seek out the unknown. It's like they're always on a treasure hunt for knowledge, and each nugget of information could be the key to something big. Now let's talk about how they feed that curiosity. These people are voracious readers. You walk into their offices and there's no shortage of books. From biographies to business journals, they're constantly soaking up new information. But it's not just about books. They're also big on mentorship. They find people who are experts in their field and pick their brains. It's like having a human encyclopedia on speed dial. Another thing that keeps their curiosity alive is travel. They don't just visit places for the Instagram photos. They immerse themselves in new cultures, try new foods, and talk to locals. It's all about expanding their worldview and gaining fresh insights. So if you want to follow in their footsteps, start by embracing that childlike curiosity. Ask questions, read voraciously, and don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone. Curiosity might have killed the cat, but for the elite, it's the secret sauce to success. Now let's talk about mastering the art of calculated risks. Some people hear the word risk and immediately think about jumping out of airplanes or betting the farm. But the elites know that there's a big difference between calculated risks and reckless gambles. It's not about throwing caution to the wind. It's about assessing the odds and understanding the potential outcomes. Think about someone like Jeff Bezos when he started Amazon. It wasn't a sure thing. Back in the 90s, e-commerce was still this new and risky concept. But Jeff saw an opportunity, crunched the numbers, and decided the potential upside was worth the risk. Fast forward, and Amazon isn't just an online bookstore, it's a global juggernaut that changed the way we shop. Or take Sarah Blakely, the founder of Spanx. She invested her life savings into developing a product that didn't even exist yet. She wasn't gambling on a whim. She saw a gap in the market and knew she had something special. It was a risk, sure, but it was calculated. Today, she's one of the most successful self-made female billionaires. So what's the takeaway here? It's that calculated risks are all about doing your homework and being willing to take a leap of faith when the odds are in your favor. It's not about being reckless. It's about being bold in the right way. The elite don't fear failure. They know it's part of the journey. They understand that the biggest risks often lead to the biggest rewards. If you want to follow their path, don't shy away from risks. Just make sure you're calculating them, not just rolling the dice. Look at the pros and cons, do your research, and then, if it feels right, go for it. The key is to step out of your comfort zone, but keep your head in the game. All right, let's move to the next law, building a network of power brokers. When people say, it's all about who you know, they're not kidding. 
But it's more than just collecting business cards or having a bunch of names in your phone. The elites build networks that matter and they do it with intention. Picture this, you're at a party and instead of just mingling, you're connecting. You're meeting people who are influencers, entrepreneurs, investors, or maybe just interesting thinkers. The elites know that building a network isn't just about getting what you need. It's about building real relationships that last. It's about creating a circle of people who not only help you, but who you can help too. Now, here's the secret sauce, reciprocity. It's a fancy word, but it just means that networking is a two-way street. The top 0.001% don't just take, they give back. They're the type who will remember your name, check in with you, or even send a simple thank you note. Little gestures like these go a long way. When you genuinely care about people, they care about you, and that's when real connections start to form. Another thing about these power brokers, they don't just stick to their industry. They're all about cross-pollination, reaching out to different sectors, cultures, and communities. Why? Because the best ideas come from diversity. When you connect with people from all walks of life, you get a broader perspective, and that's when the magic happens. So if you're aiming to be part of the elites, start by building a network that matters be genuine, be helpful, and don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone. You never know who might lead you to your next big opportunity. I hope this video is useful for you. If you want more videos like this, please comment video and I'll keep making them. Let's move to the next law, long-term thinking. When you think about success, what comes to mind? For some people, it's all about quick wins and fast money, but the elites have a different mindset. They're all about the long game, looking years, even decades, down the road. Here's the thing about long-term thinking. It's not as flashy as chasing instant rewards, but it's a lot more solid. Imagine you're playing chess. The best players aren't just thinking about the next move, they're thinking 5-10 moves ahead. It's the same with the elite. They know that real success isn't just about today's gains, it's about building a foundation that will last. Long-term thinkers also understand that setbacks are just part of the journey. When you're focused on the big picture, a stumble here and there doesn't seem so bad. It's like running a marathon, you might trip, but you still have miles to go. So you keep moving. So if you want to think like the elite, ask yourself, what's my long-term vision? What am I willing to work for, even if it takes years? Start with that and then build a plan that gets you there step by step. It's not always easy, but that's what makes it worth it. Now let's move to the next law, relentless work ethic. When it comes to success, there's no shortcut around hard work. You know those stories where someone just gets lucky and becomes super rich overnight? Yeah, those are the exceptions, not the rule. Most of the top 0.001% got where they are because they have a relentless work ethic. They put in the time, the energy, and the effort to turn their dreams into reality. Take Howard Schultz, the former CEO of Starbucks. When he took over the company, it was just a handful of coffee shops in Seattle. But Schultz saw the potential for something bigger. He worked tirelessly to build Starbucks into a global brand. We're talking about a guy who would wake up at the crack of dawn, travel across the country, and still have time to brainstorm new ideas late into the night. His hard work didn't just create a coffee empire, it set a new standard for what a cafe could be. Or think about Richard Branson, the founder of Virgin Group. This guy started his first business in a basement, selling records. He'd work day and night, going out and meeting with customers, putting in the hustle to grow his business. He didn't just sit back and wait for things to happen, he made them happen. It's not just about clocking in extra hours though. It's about having a mindset that says, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. The elites know that hard work isn't always glamorous. It means pushing through the tough days, staying focused when others would give up, and constantly pushing yourself to be better. So if you're aiming to reach the top, ask yourself, am I willing to put in the work? If the answer is yes, then you're already on your way. The relentless work ethic isn't just a trait, it's a lifestyle. And it's a key ingredient to reaching that elite status. Now let's talk about pressure. You know those moments when everything seems to be happening all at once? It could be a big presentation, a tight deadline, 
or even a personal crisis. Well, for the top 0.001%, thriving under pressure is like a secret weapon. These people know how to keep their cool when everyone else is freaking out. The key is that they're not afraid of pressure. They embrace it. They see it as a chance to show what they're made of. Take a high-stakes business negotiation, for example. While everyone else is getting jittery, the elite stay focused and calm. It's not that they don't feel the stress, they just don't let it get to them. One thing that helps them thrive under pressure is preparation. They don't just wing it, they plan, they practice, and they know their stuff inside and out. So when the heat is on, they're ready. It's like they're playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. Another thing that sets them apart is their mindset. They see pressure as an opportunity, not a threat. It's a chance to rise to the occasion and prove their worth. This positive outlook helps them stay steady even when things get chaotic. So if you want to reach the level of the top 0.001% and learn the laws governing the elite, start by embracing pressure. Don't shy away from it. Instead, use it as fuel to push yourself to new heights. The ability to keep calm and carry on can make all the difference between success and falling short. Now let's talk about the next law, maintaining discretion and privacy. You know how everyone seems to be oversharing on social media these days? Well, the elite, the real top tier folks, don't roll like that. They understand that discretion and privacy are crucial, especially when you're dealing with massive amounts of wealth and power. It's not just about avoiding paparazzi or dodging gossip columns. It's about protecting your personal life and business dealings from unnecessary scrutiny. These people aren't posting their every move on Instagram. Instead, they keep things under wraps, only sharing what's absolutely necessary. Think about it. When was the last time you saw a billionaire's home tour on YouTube? Probably never. They know that the more people know about their private lives, the more they're opening themselves up to risks, whether it's security issues or just plain old drama. By keeping a low profile, they're able to focus on what really matters without all the distractions. But it's not just about staying out of the spotlight. The elite are also strategic about controlling their narrative. They know that public perception is everything, and they want to make sure the story that's out there is the one they want to tell. That's why you'll often see them giving carefully curated interviews or making public appearances for a cause they're passionate about. It's all about managing their image while keeping their private lives private. So, if you're aiming to climb the ladder of success, remember this. Keep your cards close to your chest. You don't need to broadcast every detail of your life to the world. Sometimes, the most powerful move is to stay silent and let your actions do the talking. Now let's talk about why a global mindset is so important for the top 0.001%. It's like this. When you think globally, you're not just looking at what's happening in your town or even your country. You're scanning the entire world for opportunities and trends. The elite understand that the world is super connected and they use that to their advantage. Think about it. The products you use every day, like your smartphone or laptop, aren't just from one place. They're made up of parts from all over the globe, right? So if you're in business and you're only focusing on your local market, you're missing out on a ton of possibilities. The elite are always asking, what's happening in China? What's new in Europe? How can I tap into the latest trends in South America? They're looking for those international connections that can take them to the next level. And it's not just about business. A global mindset also means understanding different cultures and ways of thinking. The elite know that to be successful, you have to understand people. That's why they're constantly traveling, meeting new people, and learning about different cultures. They realize that the best ideas can come from anywhere, not just their backyard. So how do you cultivate a global mindset? Start by opening up to new experiences. Travel when you can, even if it's just to a different city or state. Try new foods, watch international movies, and follow global news. The more you know about the world, the easier it is to find opportunities and connect with people from different backgrounds. In short, a global mindset is about being curious and willing to step outside your comfort zone. If you want to be part of the elite, you've got to think big and embrace the world for all it has to offer.
All right, let's talk about influence, the kind that's not just about being popular on social media or having a big following. We're diving into how the elite use their influence to shape the world around them. Imagine you're at a party and there's that one person everyone listens to when they speak. They're not just loud, they have this way of making people pay attention. That's influence. And the elite? They've got it in spades. But here's the thing, it's not just about having a loud voice, it's about knowing how to use it wisely. Think about it like this, you have a favorite celebrity who talks about a cause they care about, right? Maybe it's climate change or education. When they speak up, people listen, that's the power of influence. Now let's bring it closer to home. Ever notice how your friends can convince you to try a new restaurant or watch a certain movie? That's influence on a smaller scale. The elite do the same thing, but on a grander level. They use their influence to shape policies, support causes they believe in, and even sway markets. Ever heard of someone investing in a company just because a billionaire said they did? That's influence in action. But here's the kicker. Influence isn't just about talking the talk, it's about walking the walk. The elite understand that actions speak louder than words. So when they use their influence, they do it with purpose and integrity. So next time you're wondering how the elite stay on top, remember, it's not just about what they have, it's about who they know and how they use that influence to make a difference. All right, let's talk innovation. You know, that spark that makes something brand new and totally awesome. The elite get that innovation is what keeps things moving forward. It's like you can't just sit on your hands and expect things to get better on their own. You gotta shake things up. Innovation isn't just about inventing the next iPhone or coming up with some high-tech gadget. It's a mindset. It's about looking at the world and seeing where things can be improved, where there's a gap, or where there's a problem that needs solving. The elite are pros at this. They encourage creativity and aren't afraid of a little chaos if it leads to something groundbreaking. Take, for example, a company like Netflix. Remember when it was all about DVDs in the mail? Well, they saw the streaming trend coming and jumped on it, changing the game entirely. That's innovation in action. The elite know that if they don't innovate, someone else will. And then they're toast. But here's the kicker. Fostering a culture of innovation isn't just about having great ideas. It's about creating an environment where those ideas can grow. That means giving people the freedom to think differently, to take risks, and to try new things. The elite encourage experimentation, even if it means some failures along the way. It's like they know that you have to break a few eggs to make an omelet, right? So if you want to foster innovation in your own life or business, start by being open to new ideas. Don't be afraid to challenge the status quo, and most importantly, create a space where creativity can flourish. Trust me, that's where the magic happens. All right, let's talk about something that really sets the elite apart from the rest of us. It's that unwavering commitment to excellence. These people just don't settle for good enough. When they set their sights on something, they go all in, and it's this mindset that helps them stay on top. Imagine a chef who doesn't just cook a decent meal, but is obsessed with creating a dining experience that blows your mind. And that's the kind of excellence we're talking about here. The elite 0.00. .00. 1% never do things halfway. Whether it's a business deal, a new product, or even a charity project, they want it to be top-notch. And what's fascinating about these people is that they don't see excellence as a destination. It's more of a journey. They're always looking for ways to improve and never get complacent. They might reach a goal, but instead of sitting back and relaxing, they're already asking themselves, what's next? This commitment to excellence goes beyond just work. It's about their whole approach to life. They pay attention to details, they value quality, and they keep pushing boundaries. And here's the kicker, they don't do it for the money or the recognition. For the elites, it's about the pride in knowing they've done their absolute best. So if you want to adopt one of the laws governing the elite 0.001%, start by setting your own high standards. Find something you're passionate about and give it your all. Don't just aim for good, aim for extraordinary. Because in the end, it's that unwavering commitment to excellence that makes all the difference. All right, let's talk about living a life that's about more than just money. You know, some people think that the ultra-wealthy only care about stacking up cash, 
but that's a misconception. Sure, having money is great, it gives you freedom and opens up opportunities. But the elite, the real movers and shakers, they understand that wealth is just a tool. It's not the end game. These folks focus on creating a legacy, something that leaves a mark on the world. They might invest in causes they care about or start foundations to support education, health, or the environment. Take someone like Bill Gates, who could be sitting on a beach somewhere, but instead, he's working on global health issues. Why? Because he's found a purpose that goes beyond just making more money. Living a life of purpose is about asking yourself, what's my why? What drives you? What makes you want to get up in the morning? For some, it's family. For others, it's helping those in need or creating something that makes people's lives better. The elite find that purpose and let it guide their decisions. It gives them a reason to keep pushing, even when they've got more money than they could ever spend. So here's the deal. If you want to live like the elite, find your purpose. Figure out what matters to you and go after it. It doesn't have to be some grand thing. It could be as simple as making a difference in your community. Whatever it is, let that be your compass and the wealth. It'll be the bonus, not the whole story. All right, let's talk about the next law, delegation, and teamwork. No one becomes super successful all by themselves. The elite understand the power of teamwork like no one else. It's not about being a lone wolf. It's about building a pack that can conquer anything. Think about it this way. When you're playing a team sport like soccer or basketball, you can't win the game all on your own. You need your teammates to pass the ball, make plays, and score points. It's the same in business and life. So, how do the elite master the art of delegation? Well, they're not control freaks, for starters. They know how to trust others and let them do their thing. It's like being the captain of a ship. You can't micromanage every little detail. You've got to trust your crew to keep things running smoothly. And teamwork isn't just about getting stuff done. It's also about building a strong team culture. The elite know how to create an environment where everyone feels valued and empowered to contribute their best. It's like being part of a family. You look out for each other, support each other, and celebrate each other's successes. So if you want to be like the elite, start by building your dream team. Surround yourself with people who complement your strengths and weaknesses, and don't be afraid to delegate tasks. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. Now let's talk about resilience. Life can be a roller coaster, right? Sometimes you're on top of the world, and the next minute, you're hitting every bump on the way down. The elite know this, and they have a thick skin to help them ride the ups and downs. Here's the thing. Criticism is part of the journey. Whether you're launching a business, pitching a new idea, or even just putting yourself out there, someone's going to have something to say. The key is not letting it get to you. The elite don't waste time worrying about what other people think. They're too busy making things happen. They take feedback in stride, learn from it, and keep moving forward. And let's not forget about setbacks. Even the most successful people face them. What sets the elite apart is their ability to bounce back. It's like they have this internal spring that helps them recover when things go sideways. They don't dwell on failure. They see it as a learning opportunity. They think, okay, that didn't work. What can I do differently next time? Resilience is about having the grit to keep going, even when it's tough. It's about not letting the bad days overshadow the good ones. So if you want to develop a thick skin, start by reminding yourself why you're on this journey in the first place. Surround yourself with positive people who lift you up and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Remember, it's not about avoiding challenges, it's about facing them head on and coming out stronger on the other side. The elite know this, and now you do too. Moving to the next law, maintaining a healthy balance. Let's get real for a minute. When you think about the elite, it's easy to picture them working 24, 7, constantly on their phones, juggling meetings, deals, and everything else. But here's the thing. The super successful know that life isn't just about work. Sure, they hustle hard, but they also make sure to maintain a healthy balance between work and personal life. Let's talk about what that looks like. Successful people understand that you can't be your best self if you're burnt out. So they make it a point to take breaks, spend time with family and friends, and do things that make them happy. 
Whether it's going for a run, hitting the gym, or just chilling with a book, they know that self-care is crucial. Another big part of balance is setting boundaries. The elite aren't afraid to say no when they need to. They understand that taking on too much leads to stress and burnout. So they prioritize their time, making sure there's room for work and for play. You might hear stories about CEOs taking long vacations or spending weekends with their kids, and that's because they know balance is key to staying on top of their game. So if you're grinding hard but feeling overwhelmed, maybe it's time to rethink your balance. Make sure you're getting enough sleep, eating right, and spending quality time with loved ones. Trust me, even the busiest people make room for the things that matter. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about being successful, it's about enjoying the journey too. And there you have it, the 15 laws governing the elite 0.001%. These laws are not set in stone, but they offer a glimpse into what makes the world's most successful people tick. Whether it's cultivating curiosity, embracing long-term thinking, or fostering teamwork, these principles can help guide you on your own journey to success. If this video was beneficial to you, make sure to check out my follow-up video for a comprehensive understanding that builds on what you've just learned. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our channel. I appreciate your support and see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, happy financial and abundant life.